Hey guys, Compulsion84 here. Today I'm going to show you how to tame dinosaurs in Ark. So this is something that you want to do pretty quickly once you get, you know, some basic equipment and you get going. To tame a dinosaur you need three major things. The first one is some sort of equipment or item to knock the dinosaur unconscious. The second is some sort of food to feed them in order to tame the dinosaur. And the third is some sort of narcotic to keep them unconscious once they're already knocked out. So in the very beginning, you'll be taming herbivores. So you'll need to get some narco berries and regular berries from bushes. I've already got a bunch of those in my inventory to speed this up. I've also got a bunch of narco berries, and then I've got some narcotic, which is the refined higher grade sedative. Um, I'm also, I don't know if I'm gonna tame a herbivore or a carnivore, so I'm just gonna take my birds and go find something to knock out. I'll leave that Bronto alone. That'll be too time consuming. So the higher the level of the thing you're trying to tame, the longer it takes. There's also modifiers. You can start off with a basic food like a raw meat or a berry, but if you want to tame it quicker, you can use a preferred food, which each dinosaur has its own. And then also for a carnivore, you can use prime meat, which will greatly speed up the tame. Raw meat is always better than cooked meat. You can also use kibble, which takes a lot more time, but drastically speeds up your tames. I'm going to be making a video showing you how to make kibble. I'll throw a link up there so you can figure out how to do it. All right, I'll have my birds back off. Now I've got a very simple dodo, which is probably the first thing you'll tame. Now there's a couple ways you can tame it. You can either use your hands to punch it and knock it out, which is about the worst possible way. You eventually get a club, which is <laughs> marginally better. Then you can also get a slingshot, which is a little bit better. And then later on, oops, I'm dehydrated. There we go. Later on, you'll get Trank Arrows, which are actually pretty effective, which you'll be using the majority of the game. And then much, much later, you'll eventually get Trank Darts, which are very powerful. So I'll do this very low-level tame. I'll use a Slingshot. Um, what this does is it does both regular damage and I'm going to call knockout damage. So let's just beat up this stupid compy. Hold on. All right. So we've got our Dodo. I've got my Knockout Slingshot. So I'm going to hit it. And if you go for a headshot, you'll get more uh, knockout power. <laughs> I almost feel bad. Okay. So you can see right there with its name and its level, you can see it says unconscious. And the, so you've got the unconsciousness bar, which is essentially how sedated the dino is. People call this the torpidity bar because if you look in the lower right of the screen, you see the animal's torpidity. So you can see how it's slowly draining it and slowly waking up. And at the bottom, you've got put food in inventory to tame. So in order to tame a dinosaur, you need to feed it. So I know this thing is an herbivore, so I'm going to get some amber berries and some tinto berries. Now I've got accelerated tame on this server, so this is going to happen pretty quick. But every time it eats, the taming bar starts to fill up. And you can see the food drain bar. See how it's slowly going down? So once the food bar hits a certain level, it will eat again. So right now I'm midway through A. The food bar is at 900. Just ate again, so it's at 920. And now the taming is, is, at, is at N. Now what you want to do is you want to have your unconsciousness bar as low as you can when you finish the tame. Because every time a tame eats some sort of narcotic, whether it's the actual narcotic liquid or the narco berries, it gives you a slightly worse tame. But just to show you how it works, I will feed it some. So you see its unconsciousness is about N, and the torpidity is at 65. So I will feed it. You click on the narco berries, and you hit remote use item. And that is force feeding it narco berries. And you can see how its torpidity in the lower right is slowly increasing. And to just for an example, I'll feed it one narcotic, which will really put it out. So <laughs> the torpidity is going way, way up. And now you can see that unconsciousness bar is climbing. So probably in one or two more berries, it will, uh, it will be tamed. And again, I overfed it with the narcotic. You don't need to feed it that many berries or that much narcotic. You just need to keep it so that when it's tamed, it doesn't get to the bottom. I try to keep my unconsciousness right in the middle, especially for some of the more advanced tames where they can drop rather quickly. You can see this thing is almost tamed. And you can also see in the middle, there's a taming effectiveness. And the quicker you tame and the better the tame food you give it, the more bonus levels we get. So I will call this, oops, dumb, do I can't type, dumb dodo. Oops, there we go. So this was about 60, and you can see how it jumped to 94. That's because I got a pretty good taming efficiency. I got 50% bonus levels. So I've got a pretty good dodo, I guess. If this was an actual dinosaur that was rideable, I could build a saddle and then ride it. All right, sorry, buddy. Ooh, here's one of the new dinosaurs. 
This actually works out really well for the, tut the tutorial. There's a few animals that have specific food you need to feed them, so when you approach them it says put taming food in last item slot to feed. I don't know what this thing wants. Let me try azul berries. Yep. Feed, yeah, so there you go. So for the alternate tames, which is, uh, I'm trying to think of what they are. I know the dung beetles are like this and a couple other things. So you put your food in your last slot and then you just keep walking around and hitting your use key to feed them. All right, let's go murder something. Go away, Sabretooth. Where's my good gun? These are the darts. Ha! They're not, why aren't you murdering it? Oh, there we go. I need to quit messing around, there's a Rex. All right, let's, uh, Let's move this little action somewhere else. So I'm not going to try to tame a Rex for a beginner's tutorial. <laughs> First off, I don't have that many supplies. Second off, I don't feel like dealing with his nonsense. So, wave goodbye to the T-Rex. Alright, Delos are easy. They're dumb. Let's put them out of their misery. Ooh, these hit markers are so nice. All right, got some good headshots. I'm using the, the narco or trank arrows again so that... Oh! He's just, you can see how he started to run away. These trank arrows have a slight delay, so you'll hit them and it'll keep dosing them over time. All right, so we got two knocked out things, so you'll get a double tame. So again, you can see the unconsciousness meters. These guys are carnivores, so they'll need some meat. So I'll throw 10 meat in each of these guys. All right, and again, with a boosted increased tame speed, this should go pretty quick. So you watch the food meter and the torpidity meter. So they usually eat at either 20, 30, or 50, depending what the dino is. It looks like this guy's going to be 50. So it ate one food, and every time it eats, the torpidity goes down. This one is still pretty good, but I'll just drug it a little bit again for just an explanation. So you can see his torpidity is at 298. I will, again, click the narco berries and hit remote use twice. So now I've fed it those berries. It will not automatically eat the narcotic. You need to manually do that. And you can see the torpidity's jumping up a little bit. And just to reiterate, if the higher the level of the dinosaur you knock out, the harder it is to knock out because the higher torpidity, and also the harder it is to tame because the longer it takes, the more food it needs, etc., etc. However, the more powerful dinosaurs are obviously much stronger, and if you tame a 120 level dino, you can get up to 60 levels in taming bonus, which is huge. And I tamed a dumb dealo. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. And again, it's always good to have some buddies with you or dinosaurs with you as a hunting party to protect your tame, because things will come and attack it and screw up the efficiency. This guy is an herbivore. Actually, no. He's, he's, he eats meat, but he's kind of a wuss, so he won't hurt anything. You've got to watch your friendly dinosaurs when you do this, because if you don't put them on stop attacking or passive, they will potentially keep attacking your target or try to attack things nearby and then, uh, you know, end up screwing up your tame. What's up, buddy? Look into my eye. Yep, he's still unconscious. And I'll show you real quick, if I was to hit this unconsciousness thing, watch the taming efficiency. I'm at 95. Uh, uh. So I am now at 45% efficiency. And you can see his health is still high, but every time you hit the thing, it's lowering my efficiency. Whoa! It's lowering my efficiency to crap. So this shows why you need to protect the things you're taming. Once the bar fills up all the way, you'll get your new dino. Yay! I'll be nice. I won't murder him. I'll take him back to camp. It's always good to have narcotic versus narco berries, and then also, if you can get their preferred food, you can drastically speed this up. If you have any questions about taming or arc, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you haven't seen me before, I'm Compulsion84, and I make videos about guns, gaming, and gadgets. Subscribe to my channel for more great videos, and I hope I see you next time.